Um, well, forgive me to address the elephant in the room because people say beef in the house okay. between me and you. <laughs> All right. Pause. All right. I know that Social House has wrapped up. The second season has wrapped up, right? And this video was recorded some time ago, isn't it? So take time with me. Am I doing that transition when I'm against a green screen? And we can just walk out at a song and continue with the remote there. Sure. And press. Yeah, back to the video. You mean it or subscribe yet? Oh, you mean it or turn on the notification bell? Oh, you mean it or like, share, and comment? Oh, you mean it or tell a friend about Yardman Eaton? Well, go on, people. They don't know say a yard one, and I'm here with the QP himself. Right. Mm. It is a pleasure to have you here on my channel. Yeah. Okay. So first thing I want to ask you, I want to ask you about what your relationship in the house is with the different roomies. So, Lee. Um, Lee. Okay. So I knew Lee prior to the show, um, but not like new new. Mm. I knew her based off of the fact that I was. Well, I am friends with her mm. previous partner. Oh, okay. Right, <laughs> right. Right. And we were this close to doing a YouTube video. Mm. Um, we had already followed each other on the internet. So I knew I knew Lee. Mm. I mean, I'm used to see her out to look at place them I'm a and yeah. So I knew Lee, but not like close close. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Um Chad, of course, you know, him and I are the closest mm. on the show. Mm. Um then there is Tanya. Okay, so I knew of Tanya from the internet. Mm -hmm. And I met her once in public at Zimi Sebi. She came up to me and she was like, you know, we met before. You know my sister. And I do know her sister. Mm -hmm. And that was the furthest in which our relationship went. Okay, okay. Um, and then Rebel. Yeah, Rebelita. <laughs> no Rebel from a long time. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Rebel knows how long I know her. I know Rebel from Steer Bad, Hungry, Steer Awful Man, from them time there. Mm -hmm. And then you now, I think you are the least that I knew right. on the show, but I knew of you from social media. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, forgive me to address the elephant in the room because people say beef in the house okay. between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So to tell the story what had happened was mm -hmm. we did up on live on tiktok mm -hmm. isn't me and people were asking me about you know the relationships that you know that they're in the house mm -hmm. isn't me i say and i mean we're in a competitive space we right. don't fully know each other yeah, right. you get me i say so you know different people have different personality okay. quirks and yeah. you know so and so so you know me didn't some people quite on <laughs> social house you the director yeah man <laughs> versus quite perry <laughs> petty Listen, you have some people who will take the opportunity to take shots at you. Is it me, sir? Let's just say that some people are quite petty. Okay? So, um, <laughs> you have some people who will take, who will try to take opportunities for this you. Low key, mid key, sometimes you have to read in between the lines, listen closely. Sometimes people try to, you know, hide things in compliments. You know, so what I'm saying is, I don't pay that any mind. I just ignore and keep what I'm doing. Me not respond to nothing. Me not man, nobody draw me out. Is me I say so? Um, for address the address the elephant in the room because mm -hmm. I, that the people them are gonna want to know about. Right. You know, and then you know based on previous episodes, right. you know people see Perry have a certain style about him. The only person I am not hundred percent sure of is Ethan. I know how Ethan Brian steer at that. I know like the physical things that I'm avid. I'm not sure about Tan. Alina, I get this. It's an egg one some black pepper, man. <laughs> Murder! What is that one so far? Is that drop now? No, I'm not gonna argue with you. My alpha got some boobs and drop two dirt bones on your face. I'm not gonna argue with you. Stay focused. Perry's trying to distract you. Stay focused. Right. right. <laughs> you see mm -hmm. me? So some people are saying, 
Why, why Perry have to deal with the people them so bad on the show? Right. Like why, like it look like say boy, why am I bad a yard man so much like? Right. Yeah, so okay. I want, I wanted to ask you know your opinion like when that happened. Right. Yeah, me I said like mm-hmm. me did, like me did see the video. I was like Jano. Oh well, <laughs> you never you never know. Some people that got screen record, y'all. I mean, that's how it go. Um. Okay, so I did see that, but. I never really came to you about it. Right. And that's only because you didn't call my name. Right, right, right. right. So you never called my name. So in you know, my head, I said, I'm not talking to me. I'm not talking about me. But I'm also not dumb because it's like, I knew what you were playing at. Right, right, right. But as I said, I boil it down to personalities, right? I have a particular personality about me. You have a particular personality about you. We know each other the least on the show. Right. So a lot of persons would have been like, oh, but... I saw Perry stay, he doesn't mean it, which is true. I don't mean half of the stuff I say. Everybody knows I don't take, I'm not taking nothing serious. Mm-hmm. If me and you get in one argument now and I leave the space, I've forgotten about it. I don't carry it with me. Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, the whole bad mind thing, I don't bad mind Ethan. It's not Ethan a bad mind, it's the position that he's in. <laughs> and if he was not in there, if Rebel did up a number one, I made a, made a beat out Rebel back. What do you mean? I made a chant down blah, 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 um, Babylon for Rebel. What do you mean? It's the position. Mm. It's obvious. He and Tanya are the front runners. It's a competition. Mm. Everybody would like to win. Some would like to win more than others. Right. And that's just that's just the natural progress of the show. It's a competition. Right. So just for sure the people, them, there is no, right. there's no beef here. There's literally no beef here like... And if and if we're gonna be very honest, Ethan is very reserved on said. As much as we baga baga and in the ray and they say Ethan is very reserved on said. So there's there would there wouldn't have been any personal interaction between us for us to even carry someone outside of the show. Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, there's no beef. I the position with him in her. Ethan <laughs> is very good at a lot of things. And I can't do anything about that. <laughs> what me I can do about that? Tanya is also very right, smart and right. very good Absolutely. at a lot of things. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes in my head, I feel like me I do good, <laughs> but I'm just not doing good. There's somebody out there who is doing better. So it not have nothing to do with you, Tanya, or what have you. Because even Tanya says sometimes say. X, X out Ethan, <laughs> because Ethan is very good at a lot of things. No, and sometimes even me have to fight out Tanya because I'll, I'll, there was a challenge where I made a challenger player and I know that Tanya did vex. Ball in now? Ball I want in the good door. Mm. No, I'm going to Are you feeling? Mm-hmm. Let's check the footage, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I saw it first. We'll check. Uh. You understand? So. It's, 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 it's just one of those things. The competition is all for entertainment, and I hope you guys are entertained. Right, and don't carry it with Uno because we are fine. We've let go anything that, that transpired on the show, and I just hope that everybody just moves on, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, we talk about, you know, moving on. So, how are you and Tanya? You know, the music challenge episode came oh, out. Right. How are the comments? <laughs> How, 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 how are people perceiving that? What, what's going on there? Did you and Tanya talk that out? Oh, yeah, we did for sure. Um, so I want persons to understand that that episode was, I don't know when this is going to air, but that episode was filmed weeks before it aired. So we had already moved past that. So having to re-watch it and like relive that experience was overall just like, a, oh, my God. And then we are at the mercy of the producers and the editors. So we don't know what they're going to put in, what they're going to leave out. And there was a large portion of it, a large portion of it that I believe didn't need to make it to the show. Um, and there's also a large portion of it that I believe should have made it to the show. Because they didn't put in when I said, boy, you know, Tanya, I respect your feelings. And had it been communicated to me differently... Would I get up? Why would I fight that? Right. Because I realized that Rebel didn't make it, so clearly someone spoke to her. But by the time she was talking to Tara, she was already entering the room, and I'm hearing everything. Everybody is hearing everything. And now I'm being told that I'm inviting somebody into a room that I have nothing to... I didn't know that her and Rebel's thing was so deep, right, right, right. you know? But we, we spoke about it. Everybody took accountability for everything, and we all boiled it down to a big misunderstanding. Right. 
Yeah. So as, as as a reserved one on set, my ears are more open than my talk. Right. So I'm preying a lot of things that's happening. I'm like, this is not necessary, you know. Right. I'm like, a wally pa miss on the set, like missy missy spots on set happening, and I'm like, what that not necessary? Right. If them did just communicate effectively and make them right. feelings be known right. effectively instead of mm-hmm. popping off. Right. Feel like you know certain things could have, you know. Could I use a bit more kumbaya? Yeah. Get me I'm, a, I'm a respective person. Why am I forced to sit in the room? That don't make no sense. <laughs> and I'm also working off the mindset that whoever goes first, the second person, the first person gets to watch the second person. And this, the first and second person gets to watch the third person. That's what I'm working off of. And a lot of persons were saying, okay, well, since Rebel Slashed, why did she need to be in the room? She's in the social house. Right, right, right. And I slashed the first challenge and I was able to watch everybody she's in the social house you know and she also asked permission if she could watch so i went ahead and asked permission for myself and um rebel i asked the producers if we could join the room and they were like yeah Mm -hmm. but clearly some communication fell through and it just it just went left but at the end of the day tony and i are good and we spoke about it. it 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 is what it is and as much as we're a house, we're a family, and we fight like a family, and then we make up like a family, like every other relationship. So please, me, I beg on the don't send no eight to Tanya, or don't send no eight to me, and don't send no eight to Rebel. All right. We've moved one. See, I, I love the maturity because the maturity is. I feel like the maturity is needed in this space mm-hmm. because a lot of times, especially, um, you know, Tanya always talks about how she is new in the space. Mm-hmm. So, you know, let's talk about what was it like for you. As a new creator, how many years ago that was? I mean, I'm in a joke about him age. You can get, get beat up on stage, you know, for that. Amen. <laughs> I had a little feeling that Perry was going to win this challenge. It's general knowledge. Perry should have the most knowledge out of all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, you as a new creator coming into the space, what kind of, um, you know, issues did you have to face from people? Were you somebody who was reactive to the comments? Are you a lot more mature? No. What, what, what was... Rohan Perry years ago versus Rohan Perry, no. That's actually a very good question. Um, so when I was coming into the space, mm-hmm. right, I was already working on myself. So I was already halfway there mm-hmm. in relation to being secure in who I am. Mm-hmm. So when I got on the online space, there wasn't much work left for me to do. It's almost as if I was like wrapping it up. Um, clearly, it's going to take a lot of adjusting because you're now leaving high school you're now leaving university where you know persons might make a little bit of snide remarks to you but you see them in your face you're now being faced with persons who are behind a phone screen behind a computer screen you don't know who these persons are and that that was just a new space for me to maneuver but it wasn't a new space in relation to the comments you know right, right, and the right, negativity right, right, right. so i was already halfway along my journey in relation to just being secure in who i am mm-hmm. and knowing what i bring to the table and it, it took me a while to get very block happy i'm not gonna lie i used to just <laughs> leave the comments but now my trigger finger is on my block button yeah. so the minute you say something i don't like i'm just blocking you and i block by association yeah. so if i go up on a page i'm gonna say yeah bring my down my blocking you and everybody who like the comment block everybody who reply to the comment block can't work with you now don't you know, want to know over here you know say jada kingdom to block me one time well, I'm still blocked on her Instagram, you know? A lot of people have blocked me. Ashanti blocked me. What? Uh, yeah. Enough people blocked me. Ashanti blocked me. Who else blocked me? Who else blocked me? Tifa blocked me. Yeah. Denny blocked me. I just want them to think that I'm not feeling okay. about it. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, have you ever been bullied? Like, in the space? Um, like, another creator or from people? From another creator, I wouldn't say another creator. I would say persons in the entertainment space. Mm. So, yes, I have been bullied. Mm. And um, you don't know if I go live and I said, talk about me. I mean, I said, Jesus, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what? What am I doing? Um, online, yeah, for sure. I've had my spats on Twitter mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. them I bite my up. <laughs> them I bite, bite my up. But I don't know. I've just grown to the mindset that tomorrow is another day. 
two days from today is another day. Three days from today is another day. And they're going to find something else to talk about. Absolutely. So as long as I can get through that day, the second day, I'm going to be all right. Because at the end of the day, it's words. Words mm -hmm. can't particularly hurt me unless I allow them to. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is if I don't see it, it can't bother me. Mm -hmm. So I don't search my name on Twitter. <laughs> I not search my name, you're crazy. I'm not search it. I don't want to hear what about me. Yo, it, it, it really does take a certain level of resolve not to do that because sometimes you just kind of wonder what the people are talking about. Oh, so, nope. Don't care. Don't care. Come on, I don't want to watch my show on Netflix and my chip go lick. I don't want to throw my my binge watching game. I nah, can't work with it. Right, mm -mm. Right, right. So, comments, I limit my comment viewing. Limited. I said, all right, I said the first couple of comments, they're yeah. nice, reply, yeah. go about my business. I'm not going back. Yeah. Mm -mm. Can't yeah. go back. Because if I don't see it, it can't bother me. Like, I have a style, like, mostly after half hour of me posting a video, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm not saying that my space is not a space that is tailored for, like, positivity. Of course it is, 100%. I would say 90% of my comments is, actually, no, 98% of my comments is positivity the two percent is people looking for trouble or persons wanting to get your attention mm -hmm. or persons just coming because they might come from some sort of drama mm -hmm. you know but the two percent does not outweigh the 98 Absolutely. so i don't really focus on that so my last question to you is is there any kind what kind of advice would you give to new creators entering the space mm -hmm or relatively new in this space okay um so first one you have to know and understand that there's no manual book to this thing there's no rule book there's no real guidelines there's nothing you can study there's no thesis paper you could do to pass to operate in the social space so when you're coming in nothing really is the wrong answer if you get what i'm saying because i find that a lot a lot of persons are searching for ways to do things and because of like fear they're not really sure just go after it do what you're doing and like learn on the way but another thing is just be consistent and the most important thing is to be yourself Absolutely. you have to be able to show up as your authentic self show up as who you are if you're not yourself one that's going to be hard to maintain and two there are people who are going to see through that you know mm -hmm. you're now creating uh you're now creating a persona online that you cannot um maintain and you're also trapping yourself in a persona that is not you you know just think about the mental gymnastics of having to turn on and off every single right. time instead of just showing up as yourself right. you know and you're going to be meted by people who do not understand and that's also okay it's, it's also okay. It's going to be a joke to them. Yeah. Until it's no longer a joke to them. Because now you're signing deals. Absolutely. And you're making your bag. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now you become the aspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because even some of, my personal, some of my personal story, when I was just starting, mm -hmm. I remember me to go to high school with some people. Well, I said after high school. But I remember, you know, people who I went to high school with right. would go out to them and wait for find my number. Mm -hmm. Just for this, man, you know? I mean, that's so weird. A big man thing. Like, people go out there weird just for, just for try to disturb your peace. Mm. But then when it gets to a point where your respect, for, for, you know, people respect you more depending on your follower account. Okay. Right? And then when you start making money, you start getting these deals, and all of a sudden, the bad, it, it just, it just, the bad mind just get less and less, at least right. vocally. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I would, I would, I would, I, I, I could attest to that in relation to, you know, your haters mm -hmm. being your biggest cheerleaders eventually, right. because they're now put in a space in which they cannot beat you. Right. So they have to join you. Right. right. You know, and majority of the times respect is not earned by you going to somebody and telling me, give me your respect. Absolutely. They will see how you move, mm -hmm. you know? They will observe how you move because remember, they're already tuned in. Mm -hmm. They're already watching you, waiting for your downfall. Mm -hmm. Or they're the ones who were proposing your downfall or the ringleader of your downfall. Mm -hmm. So they're already watching your moves. Mm -hmm. So respect is earned through how you choose to carry yourself, how you choose to present yourself, how you choose to put your best foot forward, how you put out your work, mm -hmm. how you just choose to operate overall. And them sit and them say, you know what, say, 
something about that youth, them are rated now. Mm. Mm. And then you'll see them out of the road, I'm saying, I'm not going to send a line, brother, one time, I never used to like you, you know. <laughs> never used to like you, you know, but right. love how you do your thing. Yeah, and then them go as far as I say, you know, some girlfriend love you. <laughs> you know, some wife love you, she not stop. Crazy. <laughs> So, people, that is it. I am here with Quiet Perry. And again, no beef whatsoever. Thank no you so much. No beef, no pasta. He <laughs> might live like Rasta. <laughs> Yo, big old valiant. Right, right. <laughs> but it was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. This is pretty cool. Thank you very much for the. For We're going to have to do a video on my channel. I'll think about it and let you know. Sure, no problem. Right. Say a word. Right. All right, respect. Thanks again. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> All right, blessings.